Hello, my friends and subscribers. My name is Alexander Stepanov. In this video, I'm showing you the common mistakes which nail technicians usually do while doing infill of gel nails or nails extensions. At first, I want to tell you about drill bits that we use. And in the first case, now where I'm working with the barrel drill bit in the incorrect way. And now I'm also use the ceramic drill bit. This one, I mean ceramic drill bit, is better for removing only, only the color. And uh, now I'm showing you that the nail master is working with a, uh, with a reverse speed and with twisted hand all these positions are incorrect you should always work with the forward speed while using drill bits now i'm using the reverse speed and as you can see it doesn't work at all it's better to use the barrel drill bit for the gel gel products because it works very effective and it's removing the gel quickly and for removing only the color you can use the ceramic drill bit and now you should pay attention we, we shouldn't place drill bit and work only one on the one place we should change the direction because uh, no matter what kind of drill bit do you use you can uh, hit the nail plate if you work on the one area as you can see firstly I have removed the top cut with this ceramic drill bit and my second phase of work I'm removing the color uh, with quick motions from the top to the lower side we're quickly moving this drill bit you should always work with the new one don't use the old drill bits in this case your work will be effective and quick you can remove it quickly so here it is, we have removed the color and the top cut. And if you see the lifting from the right side, you should also remove it. This is an incorrect way of working with a pusher, because we should press slightly, but if you don't press at all, it's, it's incorrect. And also, when you press, make too much pressure, on, like in this case, it's also incorrect. You should neatly and slightly open these cuticles. But this is, this is not, not, not good. Also, I don't advise you guys to use other types of tools like uh, uh, wood stick or any other tools or work with the opposite side of the pusher like in this case we, sh we shouldn't do do it never should never do it because you can traumatize the skin with this corner sometimes uh, nail master buy the incorrect pushers and they forced to work with them. As I advise you guys to to uh, to order a wide, uh, so it's like spoon. Pusher is like spoon, like like you can see on the video. It uh, it's not too sharp and it's not blunted. But we don't remove the pterygia with the pusher. We only push in cuticles. Don't do that because you can traumatize the metrics of the nail or cut the skin 
Don't do such manipulation, it's better to use the diamond drill bit for removing the pterygia. So as you can see we don't need to make too much pressure but you should uh, push it to the limit neatly and accurately. Now I'm working with the flame, long flame drill bit and this is the correct way and this one is incorrect because we are moving the belly of the drill bit on the nail plate. We don't remove the pterygia, but we, we are making the hole in the center of the nail plate. It's incorrect. We should only work with the skin. We are opening the left pa uh, pad. And this is not is this incorrect too, because this is the incorrect position of the tool. So... Uh, we work this way. This is this pad is open. We just move up and down. This is an incorrect way because we can make the hole in the cuticles area because we are moving uh, the drill bit with the corner. Uh, the corner is very sharp, and this is also an incorrect way because we do the same uh, the same gape the, or the hole with a sharp corner and this is correct because we are working with the skin and uh, we accurately uh, remove the pterygia from packets from such places under the pad so this is the correct way just Remember how the way I move my drill bit. Choosing the correct drill bit is also very important because now I'm working with the natural diamond drill bit from Shape of Nail Top Com, and don't work with Chinese analogs at all because they were were made from iron pieces which are traumatizing the nail and. Uh, in this case, as you can see on the video, the brush is very soft. It don't remove the pieces. <laughs> and this is uh, too much disinfectant, which can bring the allergy. We don't need to flow too much liquids like this. I think the smart way is to use the wipe and uh, uh, wood stick like this. I just rub the wood stick with a wipe and accurately trying to open packets, pads, lateral pads, proximal pads, and remove all the dust from <laughs> from underneath. <laughs> This is an incorrect way of uh, working with the nippers. By the way, guys, uh, there are a lot of good high quality nippers by Stalex, the best Russian brand on shape of nail.com with acceptable prices. So you can order them with free, free quick shipping. But this way is incorrect because we, uh, we cut the skin with the backside of nippers. Uh, backside should be lifted, as you can see on the video right now. We are working only with the tip, with the short, uh, short and short tip. These nippers are very sharp, so you can try them. You will see that it's very easy to work with any type of skin. And this is also an incorrect way when we uh, um, do such erratic motions and don't try to cut the skin with uh, only one line. I mean, um, uh, you cut from one side, from the other side, without uh, the logical. I think uh, you should understand that we should start from the one side and accurately move only one piece of the of the cuticles. 
like you can see here. So we start here and we're trying to work only one line. And this way it will be the correct cut and neat. Like this. But if you are professional, you can do such quick motions. It's okay. I hope you understand how to correctly work with the nippers and where to order the high spot in nippers with hand sharpened hand sharpened nippers. This is the primary and um, uh, if you don't do the primary you will have liftings and you should do it properly and this, of course uh, have applied the base gel on these nails. Uh, already applied thin layer of the base gel and now I'm placing the sculpting layer and this is the incorrect way you should understand that we don't uh, we shouldn't place the large drop of this gel the temperature in room is very high and uh, that's why we have the flowing of this gel into the pads to avoid this, it's better to, at first it's better to take the smaller size brush. Uh, it's better to keep your, uh, your sculpting mix gel in warm place, or sorry, in cold place, in cool place. But if, if in case, if your gel is uh, liquid enough, like in my case, I'm I'm working with the brush from from gel polish, and you will see that I will uh, I will sculpt nails with the easiest way, and I will not I will never have any flowed product in the, into the cuticles. Uh, now I'm gonna show you. I'm placing the drop right. In, you know, on the natural nail plate and trying to apply it like uh, the gel polish but leave some product in the vertical line on the apex I'm trying not to place too much product if you need to sculpt the thicker layer I'm sculpting the next one, the next layer I think this is the latest and this is the most effective technique for the nail technician that's why the new formula of sculpting mix gel is advanced. Uh, just because, guys, we know we all, uh, everybody of us, sure. uh, everybody of us, uh, good enough for placing gel polish. Why just can't we uh, apply the sculpting in the same way? I mean. Uh, using the, these brushes from gel polish and to apply the sculpting mix gel uh, the same way like we're applying the gel polish. I think this is the good technique when you uh, when you need to apply the infill of gel nails and if you save your time. And I think that professionals will appreciate this technique and they will be um, happy because this this product is fantastic for doing not only for sculpting nails, but in the most cases uh, for applying infill of gel nails. As you can see, I have already prepared the nail and I'm just placing, I'm just placing the drop. This one, in this time, I'm placing the larger size. And as you can see, we have no flow the gel, like in the first case. The same product, but different techniques. In, in the first case, we had already uh, a lot of product put it on the skin, but in this case, we don't have product put it on the skin at all. As you can see, I have sculpted the nail. I just need to uh, on, uh, only need to remove some length, and we have perfect sculpted nails without floated product. As you, as you can see, it's alleging perfectly sure. and quickly. We don't need to work with brush and move it up and down too much. Uh, by the way, this, this gel has very adorable price. 
16 dollars for large container 60 60 not 16 60 milliliters this is like uh, 10 regular bottles of gel polish just imagine 10 bottles of gel polish or rubber product 10 bottles uh, the regular price for the rubber sculpted gel polish it's about 10 dollars 60 dollars for 10 bottles but here we have here we have the price 16 dollars for the same the same volume of product this is an incorrect play, uh, way of placing the nail form because we have gapes and the product will easily mm, uh, get into the gap now i'm showing you again how to work with this product and this time we will sculpt the nail with the same gel we have six or seven tons already of this gel product and very soon it will be more uh, pink tones of uh, of the of this of this gel um, natural tones and vibrant barbie tones this this is now with my favorite because this not this is the cream tone uh, this this name is dress coat nude tone and uh, nails look so elegant we don't need also we don't need even uh, the the color if we sculpt the nails with this with this gel and we, when we shape them the the color is amazing the nail look so natural for any type of skin light dark no matter it will look fantastic uh, and you will see that it's this very amazing i have uh, i have sculpted the length curved it in lead lamp in 30 seconds the second step i'm applying something like the the vertical line you can sculpt this line if you work slowly with the gel product if you're the beginner but if you are the professional you can quickly sculpt the the full uh the nail the whole nail uh, everything depends on your skills uh, guys if you have trained your hands uh, perfectly you will never have any problems with sculpting nails and everything will be uh, it will seem easy for you no matter what temperature in your room what no matter is the gel liquid or not if you work a lot if you work day by day no matter what product we have re reversed the hand the nail the yeah, and you can you can see that it's perfect it's ideal we just need to shape uh, from side walls one or two times and we have already sculpted perfect nail we don't need to even uh, place uh, the color it's very beautiful it's uh, we can do the same way nails in half of an hour and we they will be perf looking perfect we don't need any special tips dual forms or any other um, trash things which only um, takes a lot of time uh, now we see how we shouldn't remove the nail form uh, this is <laughs> a, this is not correct because you can ruin the length uh, there will be the breaking or, or, or the crack and this is the funny <laughs> funny thing that you should all never do with your client she's my wife and <laughs> just because she will <laughs> excuse or 
I just can say sorry and it will be uh, it will be okay for <laughs> but never do with the client some such things and I hope you understand my joke and this this way we can just we can remove the the form I know some nail masters even don't shape nails at all it just just uh, correct the length and it's it's okay but, uh, but you shouldn't uh, use the scissors like that because it's it's <laughs> you can also ruin the nail i have combined some mistakes for you guys to uh, to make your work to protect you from mistake from some mistakes now i'm using uh, the nail file for the um, natural nails and uh, shape only with one area it's much better to use uh, the barrel drill bit my favorite drill bit for removing the length and it's very um, good for this for this work and it's also an correct way of working with uh, with buffer because it doesn't shape at all we, sh we just uh, use buffers only for buffering the barrel drill bit quickly works with this with this nail uh, last last week i was in the dental uh, cabinet and uh, the uh, dental worker used the same drill bit and i noticed how oh, these drill bits <laughs> it's uh, it's also incorrect guys because you should if you use with the uh, if you use the file for shaping nails you should uh, keep the nail exactly uh, the nail strongly and using the pedicure tools like cups like that it's also incorrect it's not comfortable for client even don't try don't try this was the incorrect uh, speed of the drill machine. As you can see, I'm, I don't, I, I keep the finger incorrectly. I just uh, also advise you guys to watch this video again to pay more uh, attention on some things that we can do incorrect. For example, this one when we uh, shaping nails incorrectly, and this is the common mistake of nail masters when we shape too much side walls right in this area N nail masters are trying to make the nail thinner but uh, this position is incorrect and we should uh, place the nail file with the other uh, with the other way and now I'm gonna show you the correct way. This is incorrect. We just we just shape only the corners, not not the nail plate. And uh, a lot of uh, nail masters do the same mistake. I mean beginners. So we just uh, have pushed the the pad and uh, keep the file vertically like this and we shape the nail not the skin not the um, place between the natural and the, the extended nail we shape only like this and you can see that we have good result only this way And this is uh, also an incorrect way of shaping nails because we don't shape them at all. We're just wasting our time on moving the file. Um, there is a strict scheme we have. And uh, on my online classes, uh, which I have made especially for the beginners, we so, uh, we we talk about all the mistakes uh, more in in details you can attend these classes the lessons are available on shapeofnailtop.com too and um, i 
I review all mistakes and all such details. I like paying attention on details and to come we saw now we are comparing the correct and incorrect. Uh, this is the incorrect way when the nail is bended and that and on my thumbnail this is the correct way the correct shape of nails. Of course uh, we have a lot of schemes on our classes. Uh, I have made about thousands of schemes for my students on on every scheme um, we have we have detailed pictures of how for example uh, the nail should be shaped different uh, shapes of natural nails how to work with them a lot of information which would be uh, which would be important for the beginner not only for the beginners we have a lot of professionals on our courses which want to level their level up their skills and improve their skills to solve some mistakes with their work and now we are working with the buffer and with my favorite called control bit uh, Especially in this area, to avoid traumatizing of the nail plate when we need to remove some product from uh, under the cuticles, it's better to use the conjol bead. As you can see, this is not the new one because if it if it was the new, it was it would work uh, harder and quick quickest. I I prefer using the medium. Uh, life all that uh, conjol bead because I can uh, do some fine works with it my brother Andrew can work with the same conjol bead two or three years with the same drill bead of course he sterilize, sterilizes these drill beads but it, they are becoming um, better and better now I'm showing you how it should be the correct shape of square nails with the arch I didn't use special tools as you saw I used the simple sculpting mix gel of the brand shape of nail uh, to create such shape of nails I may I did it quickly without special tools I didn't press bend something shape bend the form everything I did is uh, using correct products this is incorrect uh, placing of gel polish, I mean coating of gel polish. Why? Just because we uh, at first we placed a lot of product uh, in the cuticles area and it's floated. The second mistake we are doing now, we are trying to remove this product with the wood stick, it's uh, incorrect. All we need is to uh, take the wipe, uh, the cleaner, and remove all this shit, all this layer, <laughs> uh, something like that, and place the new layer, the correct layer, like this, and uh, neatly move the the brush and of course you can help uh, yourself with thin brush thin brush number zero zero to draw in hidden places and of course the most uh, important thing in our work is the top coat uh, we have on shape of nail top com uh, five types of top coat with the large bottles uh, my favorite top coats because I work with them for a long time and they really protect nails from liftings from breakings and always shine perfectly this one is extra gloss top coat and uh, it protects from uh, yellowing from from uh, liftings if you don't use the correct top
top cut you will have liftings just because uh, it, the top cut seals all the surface uh, between uh, the natural nail and the um, and the gel product we have had an experiment we didn't use the top coat at all we just applied uh, the gel the builder gel and uh, the color and after three or four days we had a lot of liftings just because we didn't use the correct top coat uh, the price for top coat is much less than for the gel it's 12 12 dollars only 12 dollars for big bottle if you find on somewhere in the world stores the price lower than this please tell me and we we make price lower <laughs> just because i think that this is the best uh, price for the highest quality product and um, I suggest you guys to use these top cuts for creating such beautiful nails which will stay in for a very long time. And I'm nail masters uh, with a lot of experience, with a lot of practice. And uh, I suggest only products that I use in my work that I'm, uh, I'm sure that they will work for you, like for me. Uh, and you will appreciate and your clients will be happy with such products so you can order them on shapeofnail.com see you thanks for watching i will publish more such videos if you like it